Okay guys, so as you can tell from the title of the video down there, because it's not up there anymore, it's now the title of the video is below. Anyway, <laughs> I am here to review uh, this Nearly Naked, Revlon Nearly Naked foundation that I received. And of course, it's not new to everybody, but I'm just, you know, sharing my opinion and my views on it. And um, yeah, hopefully this will help somebody out that is looking for it. Anyway, so yeah, this is the Revlon Nearly Naked Makeup, and this is in Cappuccino. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, that's my perfect shade is Cappuccino, so yeah. I also have the Nearly Naked Powder, the matching powder that comes with it, and my color is Deep. So it says right up here, color Deep. And all of this stuff will be down below along with a couple of other videos that you guys probably missed. And um, yeah, so now I'm just going to show you how I apply it. And yeah, so you get to see how it looks on my face. So just stay tuned. So now what I'm going to be using since this um, foundation is not, it doesn't have a primer in it like the other foundation, I'm going to be using the Philips Milk of Magnesia as a primer and also to, you know, stop some of the oils that will be seeping through my oily, nasty skin. So I'm going to be using a cotton round to apply that and shake it up. Just put it on the cotton round and I just apply this to my face. So now once the book of Magnesia is dry, it dries like this, it looks pretty gross. What I do then is I take my St. Ives lotion with oatmeal and shea butter and I put about that much on my face. lotion everything is nice and smooth we have a nice base now I'm going to go ahead and apply the Revlon nearly naked and I will be using this elf stipple brush to apply it and yeah so let's go So now I take it and I just dabble it all on my face. Hey guys, so I stopped the video because my lighting was all crazy because my curtain is red and the sun peeping through my curtain made my room red, therefore made my makeup look crazy. So I wanted to give you guys, I wanted to let you see how this makeup looks in real lighting. So yeah, this is how I apply it in... I only did that one application and one thing about this foundation it is buildable um, it does have really good coverage as you can see I did not put on any concealer at all so I'm pretty happy with that that I don't need it and it is my color Yeah. 
And that I'm is going what... to go ahead and apply the powder on top of it just to set it. And I'm going to be using this Sedona Lace powder brush. That is my little demo of this foundation. And uh, yeah, so this is in deep, like I said before, and it comes with a little sponge applicator that I'm not going to use, and they just put it right there. But yeah, I really like this foundation. If you are following me on Instagram and on Facebook, I um, talk about this, I rave about it all the time because you barely can tell that I am wearing foundation and that's what I like the most about this. This stuff is awesome. I recommend it to anybody. Um, it doesn't leave my face looking ashy. It doesn't leave my face looking chalky. It's just a really beautiful glow and it lasts throughout the day. I'll insert some pictures probably at the end of the video. Um, and just in case you guys don't have Instagram and you're not following me of how it looked. Um, you know, when I first put it on and then later on in the day, maybe about eight hours later, it still looked flawless. Um, because I use the Philip Milk of Magnesia, it helps to absorb the oils in my skin. So you don't really see, you know, the oil build up at the end of the day. And, um, yeah, you don't need concealer with this. Not me anyway. And I have a lot of black spots all over my face. So you would think, like... You know I would apply concealer first but I don't really need it I like it um, you still see some of my blemishes and I kind of like that because you know I don't want it to be too perfect I want it to be just right and that's what I like the most about Revlon nearly naked and the powder that comes with it these retail for about ten dollars each and I caught them on sale on Rite Aid again if you follow me on Instagram you know about that sale so I caught these about for about nine, I mean five five ninety nine. It was like a forty percent off sale. So if you could catch a sale, that's perfect. If not, it's still okay. It's well worth the money, and yeah, you won't be disappointed in this. So um, that's it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.